Hey folks, just a day Sabora here. And once again we're doing another movie review this week. And once and once again I have Clumsy Smurf with me because we're gonna be reviewing the second movie to the Smurfs called Smurfs 2. Yep, that's right, Smurfs 2. Now before I get to that review, I almost forgot to say this, but before there was the movie The Smurfs as well as the sequel. I used to watch the cartoon of the Smurfs when it aired originally on NBC, which was on Channel 4 at the time. And I used to watch all the episodes, including all my favorite episodes with Smurfette, as well as Papa Smurf and everything. And then they later moved it to Channel 14, which was KCOP in Los Angeles. And that's where you get to watch all the episodes. But nowadays, after Cartoon Network started playing reruns, as well as USA Network, they started playing the show on Boomerang, which is still on today. And also the DVDs came along as well with all the episodes. I personally think, you know, back in the 80s, along with all the other classic shows that I watched, I, I used to watch the Smurfs many times too, along with many other shows out there. So, that's my nostalgic factor. And it stars Neil Patrick Harris, John Mays, along with Brendan Gleeson, Jacob Tremblay, and Hank Azaria. Along with the Smurfs once again is Jonathan Winters, Katy Perry, Keenan Thompson, Anton Yelchin, Jeff Foxworthy, as well as Christina Ricci, J.B. Smoove, George Lopez, Fred Amberson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Alan Cumming. And it's directed once again by Rajal Gaznell. The movie begins when the evil wizard Gargamel has created a couple of mischievous smurf-like creatures known as the Naughties, you know, Vexy and Haggis. And they're both played by Christina Ricci and J.B. Smooth. Their plan was to harness the all-powerful magical Smurfessence, but unfortunately, the only idea of this was that only a real Smurf can give him what he wants. So the only secret spell that Smurfette knows can turn the Naughties into the real Smurfs. So Gargamel hires Vexy to kidnap Smurfette and bring her to Paris, France, where he is becoming the world's greatest sorcerer, you know, adoring millions of fans over there, and becomes very popular with his show. So it's up to Papa Smurf, along with Clumsy, Grouchy, and Vanity, to return to our world to reunite with their human friends, Patrick and Grace Winslow, both played by Neil Patrick Harris and John Mays, to rescue the Smurfette. But Smurfette, on the other hand, who has always felt different from the others, had found a new connection with the Naughties, and eventually you know, becoming you know, best friends. But unfortunately, that's not up to what the Smurfs have been discovering, because they thought that you know, Smurfette may, may not be what she seems. So hopefully, hopefully they'll find a way to save her from all this to happen. Well, I have to admit though, um, not as bad as I thought it would be, but not nearly as good as the first movie. But I gotta admit, it probably got a lot better than I thought it would be. The only thing I didn't like, however, is that stupid song that they included on the Smurfs 2 soundtrack, which is called Ooh La La, that's uh, sung by that talentless bitch, you know, Britney Spears. Yeah, I can't believe... Yeah, I don't know why is that bitch still around, is it beyond me? Yeah, I think that has something to do with Chris Crocker. Yeah, how much I hate that bastard. Truly insult to uh, you know, transvestites. Okay, I don't want to get over that topic, but let's get to the review. Yeah, I'm sure Clumsy doesn't want to hear it either. 
But anyway, <laughs> uh, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, I thought Christina Ricci did a very good job playing the voice of Vexy. You know, she was very, you know, you know, very mischievous as far as I'm concerned. But very fun. Uh, along with his colleague uh, Haggis, who eventually was just, you know, gone crazy and everything. Smurfette, of course, uh, played by Katy Perry, once again did a very good job, just like how she played her in the first movie. Yeah. Kind of get that a lot too. Um, and, and in my opinion, they probably could have included a Katy Perry song, you know, for the soundtrack. In my opinion, maybe they, that's what they should have stick to instead of that bitch. But I'll. Uh, but all the cat, um, once again, they had all the cast in the movie, even Papa Smurf, who's voiced by the late great Jonathan Winters. In fact, they dedicated to him you know, for the sequel since he recently passed away. Yeah, great actor, too. And uh, Brendan Gleeson, you know, who went on to do all these other movies, including Harry Potter, I thought he did a very good job in this film. You know, playing the father of Patrick, you know, his long lost father. And uh, uh, the actor, uh, Jake, uh, by the name of Jake, uh, who played Blue in this movie. Um, he was okay, but he became very annoying after a while. So, uh, But I could sense that too, you know, since he's a little kid. But, um,. But I gotta say the, <clears throat> I gotta say you know there were once again funny moments, uh, but Gargamel you know, you know, played by Hank Azaria, you know getting more um, getting more screen time you know like he did in the first movie, yeah he's always getting more screen time in the film than, than all the other Smurfs are becoming, and then you know doing all you know basically creating his own plans to. To get the absence and everything, and there were there were some funny moments here. I have to admit, was when Gargamel turned you know, Patrick Spotter into a goose. Yeah, that's where <laughs> that's where the real fun gets to it. So he just talks about all this this crazy stuff about how he's becoming a goose and everything. And there were other moments too, which, you know, seems to go nowhere. Especially when Smurfette, you know, hangs around with Bexie and Hackus, you know, creating all these, uh, all this, uh, mischief, you know, around Paris. You know, they're just, you know, going to the candy store, trashing everything, and then, and then winds up, you know, winds up flying uh, with the pigeons. And of course, we, and there's, of course, there's one memorable scene where, you know, where Grace Winslow, you know, dresses up as Audrey Hepburn, you know, just to get the, the card, just um, in order to get to the hotel. And that's what she was doing. And the skies as well. But, uh, other than that, though, I, it was not bad. You know, they were. They, I thought it was a lot. I thought it was like just as fun as the first movie turned out to be. And I really enjoyed it. You know, I'm sure Clumsy probably did too. Uh, it's too bad, you know. He, which, yeah, because you know he had some fun in this movie, so I think he sure would. <laughs> Okay, so what do you give Smurfs to? Clumsy. Well, I guess. Um, well, I'll give it to him anyway. I give Smurfs to three stars. You do agree with me, right? Yeah, I think you do. So anyway, I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> oh, careful.
Oh, well, careful there, clumsy. <laughs> you almost tripped me there.